when Sean and I were creating the journal, one thing that we were both 100% convinced had to make it in the pages of this manifestation journal was to empower your emotions. Now, this is what makes this journal so different from any other daily manifestation journal out there is that it gives you a space to process your feelings and better yet, identify them. Because let's face it, we all live very busy lives. Some of us <laughs> don't even have time sometimes to you know, do the things that we really want to do, let alone allow the space to check in and go, how am I feeling right now? And this is vital to do so that you can keep that connection with your true self. It's the ultimate act of self-care. And remember, your emotions are the gateway to your intuition. And if you are on this manifesting journey, the thing that we want you to remember the most is that we want you to develop to the highest level your intuitive faculties because they will serve you as you move through to higher levels on your manifestation journey, whatever that looks like to you. Your intuition is there to serve you and it begins with identifying how you're feeling. So in your morning connection ritual, there is right now I feel and then a space and then and I wish to feel empowered. Now you may have read my best selling book, same name, Dear Universe, 200 mini meditations for instant manifestation. And that is a fantastic additional resource to have with you when you were going through your journal. If you're having trouble identifying your emotions, identifying the things that are holding you back. And so here are the examples that we chose. Right now I feel powerless and I wish to feel empowered. Or right now I feel present and I wish to feel prosperous. Now in my own personal journaling practice, I've been through this dozens of times now and some days are different. <laughs> and as a woman, depending on what stage of your cycle you're on, um, that, to me, it is, you know, sometimes it changes and maybe it's not even being a woman. Maybe it's just being a human being that we all go through different levels of inspiration, different levels of understanding internally what's going on. So for instance, in my own personal journal, I wrote right now I feel anxious or right now I feel mad or ticked off and I wish to feel peaceful. You know, it's about moving to a better feeling space, but not allowing the emotions to consume you because you are not your emotions. Your emotions are just sacred tools that you can pick and choose from to gather very important feedback and data to assess how to move forward in the best and most empowering way possible. So it really is a choose your own adventure experience.